Hey what's up, this is Ambulance here. Hats have been a fashion accessory since pretty much the dawn of time, and techwear and streetwear are certainly no different there. And there's a whole bunch of different styles, brands, features, etc. that are appropriate for both summer and winter wear. So with that in mind, we're going to have a look through uh, a couple of different hats that I own personally, and then some alternatives to those or some other kinds of styles coming in at all kinds of different price points. First up is my first technical hat, the Nike Lab ACG 3-in-1. I bought this a couple of years ago. It's a two-piece combo, so you've got the hat and it comes with a separate balaclava as well. Goes without saying that with both of these pieces on, it's not only extremely protective from all kinds of weather conditions, but extremely distinctive, very anti-social, very anonymous looking as well. It's definitely an unusual bit of kit and it's something that's going to stand out in any outfit. Do pay attention to the Nike Lab ACG branding because you've got some of that on the front and on the hanging down legionnaire sections you've got an ACG in big letters as well but it's tonal so you've got that subtle flex going on and there's also a tiny little pocket on the back as well for carrying really small things good for carrying an SD card or a USB stick something like that these did come out a few years ago now so they're kind of tricky to find these days um, and let's face it it's not super wearable but anyway we're gonna have a look at some alternatives to this a bit later in the video and let's move on to some more regular types of headgear that you might want to consider. Baseball hats, of course, are mad popular. They're probably the most popular kind of headgear option for your average person. And techwear definitely fits into that as well because there's loads of different things that you could consider. You've probably seen me wearing the foldable baseball cap that I got from Amazon a while back. If I can find a link to the specific one again, I'll link that down in the description. But it's got some water resistance. It's got this little foldable functionality so you can fold the brim up, which makes it really easy to store. And it gives it um, a little cool aesthetic detail in the form of these nice geometric lines that go down the brim, which makes it a little bit more interesting compared to a standard, totally plain baseball hat. But you might want something a little more branded than that, in which case I have here the Nike ACG Tailwind. This was part of the first ACG re-release as opposed to Nike Lab ACG. So this was all retro style stuff, all very fun, funky, colourful things. Um, I'm not really that sure why I bought this, to be honest, because it doesn't fit my head that well because it's quite flat. And I do have a pretty big head, unfortunately. And it's also very heavily branded as well, as you can see. Massive ACG going down the side, or going down the top, rather. And I do actually really like the colours of this thing, but it doesn't really fit that well with the rest of my wardrobe. I did buy quite a few of the Nike ACG things from this collection, and it kind of looks all fun when you wear it together, but it doesn't have that much flexibility apart from that. But if you've got a more retro-focused wardrobe, some more hiker core type stuff, something like this could actually fit in really nicely and look pretty cool. ACG have also come out with some more color options since then, I believe, and they're not too expensive either. I think these come at maybe $30, something like that. So they're not totally worth writing off, but I don't think they suit me that well personally. Something that does definitely suit me better though is the Outlier Supermarine hat. You might have seen me wearing this last week, I think, last week's video. Um, but anyway, um, they sent me this pretty recently so thank you to them for that and it looks very very plain it's very understated for sure and it is quite expensive coming in at 120 dollars but i've got to say this is the best fitting hat that i own as i say my head's pretty big um, but it actually looks and feels pretty good uh, water resistant as well so yeah, it might not look that crazy, but it does everything you need a hat to do. So if I was gonna buy one hat, it would probably be that one, and I would just wear that forever, and that would be it. Black as well, so it'll pretty much go with anything. Kinda like the foldable one, to be honest, and it's pretty suitable for all season wear. If that isn't exciting enough for you, though, Outlier do have another option which goes exactly in the opposite direction, and that is the Outlier Fuck It hat. You will have seen this come up in quite a few videos already because I do like to talk about this thing, but it's pretty much the craziest and most over-the-top hat that you could find yourself wearing. With an absolutely massive brim that you're able to uh, bend about at will, it's water-resistant, high levels of UV protection as well. This is a very, very protective and in many ways very flexible hat, although do be prepared for people to look at you, stare at you in the street, wearing this giant majestic hat. I wore this abroad, I think last year or the year before, and someone literally stopped me in the street so that they could take a photo of me wearing this hat. Like, that's the kind of level that we're looking at here. So, requires a level of confidence to go out wearing that for sure, and also the right kind of outfit, because you want similarly 
over the top things for the rest of your fit so that this doesn't look too out of place. So those are my hats, but what other options do we have here? What else is available? Well, I mentioned baseball hats and really I feel like there's loads of different options that could just match the color palette that you're going for with the rest of the outfit. Because they're so ubiquitous, they are very easy to just insert into an outfit. You could also look at using some technical or some performance brands um, to help give that little bit of a technical edge to your outfits. Brands like Arcteryx, Stone Island, Y3, all of those have good branded uh, baseball hat options which you could consider, which would just give that little bit of uh, branded detail to an outfit. I do think they're a good option to do that because a Stone Island or Y3 hat, for example, will run you way cheaper than a Stone Island piece of outerwear, but you're still invoking uh, an aspect of that brand. But of course, there's 101 different retailers where you could get a fairly plain baseball cap that will just fit in with the rest of your outfit quite well. You could even look at some small or up and coming brands, whatever. So I came across um, this brand called Harsh and Cruel not that long ago. Um, and they have one that's got some cool like cyberpunky text going across the front. They've got a little uh, reflective detail going across the brim as well. So yeah, there's loads of different options. Just keep an eye out and you might find something cool that you like. A style that we've not looked at yet are bucket hats and boonie hats. These things are a little bit more protective than a baseball cap because they have a brim that goes the whole way around. And one notable option that came out I think a year or two ago now was the Adidas EQT boonie hat. This is kind of similar to the Nike Lab ACG 3-in-1 in that this came with a, a separate balaclava as well that you could wear. But there are certainly other options out there. You could look at this one from Reigns for example, which has quite a sleek minimal look and the brim is quite nice and oversized as well. So I think looks pretty cool and could work quite nicely with an overall futuristic kind of look. We've also got the North Face, they've come out with boonie hats before and this kind of style is very much the mainstay of military surplus places. You could go for something like that, it certainly wouldn't be very expensive, although I feel like for me the key to making these look cool in an outfit is having either that oversized brim or a more kind of minimalist look rather than the military ones tend to have like this webbing around and they've got the little ventilation holes which tends to make them look a little bit more dadcore I think. Although that said, there was a Supreme Stone Island one that came out that pretty much had all these exact details. So uh, take my advice with a pinch of salt I guess because you could certainly go for exactly that. Bucket hats are definitely more of a streetwear thing because they've got a bit more of a retro aesthetic, but if that's your style, then by all means go for it. I think similarly to baseball hats, um, this is going to be as much about uh, finding a brand that you associate with or a brand that you like as much as it is finding anything with any genuine performance because of course there's a limited amount that one can do with a bucket hat. I think a brand like Cavempt is probably going to be a good one to go for here. They're a brand that combine those technological retro futuristic references with some more retro fits and styles. And bucket hats being a bit retro, I feel will fit into this pretty well. You will probably find bucket hats out there that have some kind of gimmicky technical feature as well. Like Stone Island came out with one earlier this year that had two pockets on the side for some unknown reason. Uh, but that looks pretty ridiculous, but kind of fun as well, I suppose. And Stone Island and other brands like that are forever coming out with accessories like this, but mixing it up with different materials and that kind of thing. So if you're more into the futuristic side of things, or you just want some weird material experiments, then Stone Island are probably the ones to go for. Maybe CP Company actually, they will probably have some kind of similar accessory too. And as I say, bucket hats are very much more in the streetwear camp than techwear. So you could just look at whatever streetwear brands happen to be a favorite, and then you could incorporate that into some outfit which has some kind of technical functionality or aesthetic as well. Uh, get that little kind of streetwear techwear mix going on. What about some other ideas? You could branch out a bit and look at some slightly weirder head coverings to loop back to the start of this video with the ACG 3-in-1 hat, that style of hat is known as a Legionnaire hat and it is something that you can pick up on Amazon fairly cheaply. Um, there's loads of outdoor shops I'm sure that will sell something like this. I feel like without that ACG branding though, um, which is perhaps suggesting that I'm a bit of a Nike Lab ACG brand slave. They don't really look that cool, I think. They kind of remind me of like a school kid on a day trip out somewhere or something, or some middle-aged boomer going for a walk, I don't know. I suppose there is a reason why I don't actually wear that ACG hat that much, apart from in very specific circumstances. That said, I did come across this non-native version of the Legionnaire hat, um, which unfortunately is pretty expensive, but I think because of the mesh on the back and because the front looks a little bit more like a regular baseball hat, it's a little bit more of a cooler take on this style. And there might be other brands actually that use this Legionnaire hat style, 
but mix things up a little bit and give it a bit of a more modern twist, a bit of a cooler look. A lot of the options I've talked about so far might come with water resistance, but let's face it, are designed more for sun protection than they are for harsh weather conditions. But what about something where the primary purpose is keeping you dry, keeping you safe from the rain. You might think, of course, a hooded jacket is the best option, and that's certainly something that I go for quite a lot of the time, but that doesn't mean that alternative options don't exist. So I noticed a cold wall came out, uh, I think it was last year or earlier this year, with uh, a little kind of hood face protector type thing designed to keep you dry. Does it look a little bit silly? Yes, I think, in most scenarios, but if your whole wardrobe is like a cold wall, very industrial, deconstructed type stuff, I could see something like this working a little bit better than a regular baseball hat would, and at least it keeps things interesting. I also noticed in the Gorilla Group SS19 collection, they came out with this little chest harness hood type combo thing, which although certainly looks very different to a hat, um, kind of functions the same way as a hat would do in that it's designed primarily to give your head some protection. It is a cool way of getting some rain protection without wearing a full jacket, and this is certainly going to keep you much more protected than a baseball cap would. Looks pretty antisocial, so that might be a benefit as well if that's up your street. And if you wanted to, I suppose you could wear this under an outerwear layer, maybe some kind of jacket that doesn't have a hood. You still want to make use of that head covering, but you don't want to look quite as edgy as having this like chest harness thing strapped to you. So the there were quite a few different styles there, all with different priorities, all with different aesthetics, um, and of course a pretty big mix of some Amazon level cheap stuff with some far more luxury, you know, that non-native thing was I think pushing $200. Um, but let me know which of the ones that I mentioned in this video was your favourite, what style what path would you prefer to go down? And I know there are loads of cool hats out there, so I've definitely missed at least one thing. So uh, make sure you tell me down there in the comments what your grail tier hat is. What should I have included here um, that's absolutely your favorite or something that you just think is super cool? Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like because it's super appreciated. And as always, we'll catch you next week in another video. Shout out to Tigron, maybe? I don't know how you're supposed to say that with the numbers, but yeah, that is a fair point. I probably should be able to find blue socks on my own. And shout out to the Shepherd of a List, the Area 51 infiltration aspect. Definitely very, very important with Smart Tech, where don't forget about that. Um, I can't even remember the date, like September something? We're storming it though, it's happening. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you want to catch some more, there's going to be links going up at the top there. And if you haven't subscribed, then you should definitely consider doing so because there's going to be more cool techwear fashion-y videos going up every single week for your viewing pleasure.